Hello and welcome to a new scroller box video. I've just had this delivered. It's the scroller box for March. I think it's box 103. So I'm going to get it open and do some artwork with the contents. Right. Just having a feel. Yeah, it's like pens or pencils which is kind of to be expected. I was thinking I read it's pens this time because the last time it was watercolours. Time before that it was crayons. And then time before that it was paints as well. <gasps> okay. So the main thing is, oh, some brush pens. So the Pentel brush sign pen, twin tip. So there's eight pens in there and they're like a dual tip. It looks like there's a brush on that end and then a smaller kind of like pen nib on the other end. What's those? There's also a Unipin fine line and it's a 0 0.5 and it looks like it's a sepia or... Yeah. And it's either sepia or sepia. I think I've got used to saying sepia. So yeah, I do have some of these actually in this colour already. And then there's a Frisk gel pen. It looks like it must be a white one. So try that out. There's the scroller box sticker and a chocolate eclair sweet, which I will enjoy with my cuppa. So the scroller zine, number 103. There's always a beautiful art print in the box. And this one is by AC Balco, and that's her Instagram handle. Really pretty, I bet it would be really therapeutic to sit colouring something like this. It's really nice. Yeah, so the scroll is in number 103. It's got all the art supplies there and information about each one. Interview with the artist. I like this pattern, that's absolutely beautiful. Really, really lovely. Look at that. So nice. Tips on using these supplies. Some little techniques to try. This is more information about this type of artwork that the artist does. This is some advice from the artist. And then, so this is from Scroller Box 101. So this is all the scroller challenges that people did. Very nice. I didn't do this scroll. Well, I don't usually do the scroller challenge, but I didn't attempt one of these kind of drawings. I don't know why it just looked scary. I just didn't think I would be able to do it. I love this. I love this one here. And I love this one. That would literally look nice hanging on a wall. They're all nice. Of course, they're all really lovely. That's why they've been picked for the magazine. And then this is, oh, this is the top three that were picked out. Absolutely lovely. Really, really lovely. Some more information. And this is the scroller challenge, hidden gems. Oh, and we've also got a pad of Sea White of Brighton recycled sketchbook made using recycled coffee cups. Yeah, nice sketch pad. Right, so I'll just try the Frisk pen on the back of this sketch pad because it's got a nice dark blue cover. It's nice and white. I could put a couple of layers on there. It is it is pretty white when you I mean I know it's white but it's quite bright white which is good. That should be really nice for highlights. Okay, so these feel pretty nice. Feels like a nice pen. So that's one end. That's the other end. So there's light grey, beige, dark red, raw umber, magenta, heliotrope, or heliotrope, don't know how to pronounce that, silver grey, 
and dark brown. So out of all these pens, we don't have a black, which is weird. Because even the fine line is brown, but I'm not complaining because we get so many black fine liners in these boxes. If I need a black, I'll just use another black. So I think I'll just quickly test them out on this back page. They are nice and smooth. Yeah, they feel really nice. They kind of glide on the paper rather than there being like some kind of friction. Like really comfortable to use. Yeah, I don't know whether it's the paper or the pen, but they don't seem to like have, you know when they kind of rub on the paper, they don't seem to do that, they just glide. I'll just try and do a, um, a second layer, see if it'll go darker. Yeah, it goes darker with a second layer. Okay, and it hasn't bled through onto the other side of the paper, which is good. Now I'm going to see if they're um, water soluble. Slightly water soluble. Some of them are a little bit water soluble. Well, some of them are a lot more water soluble like the dark brown and the magenta. <laughs>